So the Gary O'Neill pre-Fulham press conference has taken place. Of course, Wolves taking on Fulham at Molyneux uh, this Saturday. And these are all the main points that you uh, may have missed. The first thing is he was asked about the uh, injuries and the state of the squad. Of course, with Jose Sarr and Pedro Neto both going off against uh, Newcastle and Joe Gomez not able to start because of a tight hamstring. Wolves obviously are suffering injuries at the moment to Mateus Kuna and also um, Wang He Chan. Um, he's confirmed that Pedro, Jose and uh, Gomez are all fit and 100% and will be involved with the squad. He was asked about other injuries and he did say that Dawson was struggling with a sore groin and will have a late assessment but he might not be uh, ready for that game so we'll have to wait and see. He's also talked about the use of young players and Nathan Fraser gave a hint may start tomorrow but he, he did praise him quite a lot he was also asked about sporting director uh, what he said on thursday which if you've not seen that video check it out on the channel uh, regarding contract to talks are planned for the end of the season Bernil said he's keen to focus on Wolves' remaining fixtures before starting discussions on his own future at Wolves uh, and his new contract i know straightforward those talks will be when they take place in Gary's words, he says, I love it here, I'm really happy here, I love everything we're trying to do here, even the challenges we've had to face and how we try to do things and change in the model financially. I love the reception I've got from the fans and the relationship I've got with the fans, uh, the playing squad and the staff. I'm sure when it comes to it, there will be no problems. On his relationship with Matt Hobbs, he said he's a great guy, I wouldn't be here without him. The support I've had from Matt has been something I haven't really experienced in football before as a player or as a manager at my last club. When you have to have awkward conversations, you always know my side and his side are coming from a really good place. It went on to the financial situation with Wolves recently announcing losses of 67.2 million for the uh, year 22-23 last week. And Neil insisted that doesn't it mean the club will be forced to sell any of its star assets. He said we have enough assets within the club, whether they are here or playing elsewhere, that we'll be able to do some stuff in the summer. But also if we want to be really active or sign players, then we will need to sell some. That doesn't mean we have to sell one of the most expensive ones. It's not like we have to sell. But if we want to do business, there will be people that will leave in uh, the summer. Those are the main points from uh, Gary O'Neill's uh, press conference. Let me know what your, your takeaways on that are. Uh, make sure you do check out the great interview we had from Sammy from Fulhamis. Uh, giving the Fulham fans perspective and of course our full match preview with Magic Moss we'll put those on the end screen for you uh, if you enjoy this sort of video please smash a like it really helps us out and if you're brand new and you love your Wolves news and you haven't already I don't know why you wouldn't have done subscribe hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the ne next one lots of content of course coming up uh, post match uh, in regards to the, uh, Fulham and Wolves facing off at Molyneux until then Always wolves.